I don't believe that there's not an artist out there in everybody. I don't really cosplay. Uh, I, I love to build and I love to build myself costumes. But I've competed for years. And for years I've done very well. No matter what your skill level is, you're here to have fun. When you get to the level you want to be at, um, you don't have to push it further. I mean, just do what makes you comfortable. Because you don't have to have all this, but what you've got looks right. Let your imagination wander. You know, if you're going to, my Jarrell, which is this one, you know, this is similar to the one on screen, but I've put my spin on it. I'd rather teach, because I love to see that reaction from me. Think of how many people can't enjoy what we do because they don't have the craft or they don't have the knowledge or they mm -hmm. haven't taken classes like mine. Those people still want to join. Since I was so reserved, I spent a lot of time and a lot of a lot of drawing and the toys I had and stuff like that. That was my world. I, you know, that's where nobody judged me. You find out airbrush is really really fun. You've just mixed a whole bunch of air and, and stuff into it and agitated it around. Now you want to let it settle because it's kind of... Now that's where you start to get your dimension. This, this is what it's doing, it's fanning that paint. What you want to do is move your elbow. Then you can make a perfect circle. Hi Bruce. Oh, the shield maker. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah, pleasure, pleasure. I was very impressed with your class to see all those shields, and we all had the same material. Yeah. And everyone was different. There was not a single one that was oh, the same. Yeah, all the shields together at the end. These people did this in two days, and Bruce didn't do that in two days. I want, I want to get that clear. Bruce didn't do that. I supplied you with the material and the knowledge. The ones that built those 37 shields was you guys. That's that's what impresses me. You're very good at teaching things. You're very approachable. It's you know it's very easy to talk to you. So I mean it it, it makes it easier to do something because you do feel like you can say, hey, how do I do this? I love that response. Absolutely. You guys are just amazing at, at the stuff that you guys create. Yeah. There was, there was paper on the tables. There was, you know, and it, I take care of their area. I've got a salsa bowl, and that's what it is. You can buy one that's really, really cheap. This, this is one of my first prototype bracers that I made, but these are a special set of bracers because I made these for Kevin Sorbo. This is what we're making. Okay. So this gives you an idea of back color and front color. It's up to you. You've got your choice here, what you yeah. want to do. What would I go, what would go good with it? I would either go a black or do a, a real bright, this is like an orange color. Okay. Um, 
my favorite part is the kids. To kneel down next to a kid and the, the glow that yeah. they have always get down to onto their level. Because that's where they live. They mm -hmm. live down there. You know, you're bigger than life to them right now, yes. But that doesn't mean you have to remain bigger than life. If any cosplayer, that's what I tell them to do. Uh, you know, be kind to people. Don't, don't critique anybody unless you have something positive to say. Do you nerd for costumes?